I would like to speak about vaccination with input to the state stability for SIR model of epidemics. I'm Hiroshi Ito from Kyushu Institute of Technology, Japan. In this presentation, we consider control of infectious diseases. There are popular models such as SIR, SEIR, and SEIS. This presentation uses the most basic SIR model. These models allow us to predict the spread of infectious diseases and think of ways to intervene the diseases such as vaccination, regulation, and isolation. The key nonlinearity of this model is bilinearity, which brings in transcritical bifurcation, generating the two distinct equilibria. The SIR type models have been extensively analyzed by a Jacobian linearization. Phase portraits have also been drawn to see the big picture. To go beyond the local and the cause analysis, the approved functions have been constructed by many researchers, but they are not completely useful. The main drawback is the use of the invariance principle prohibiting robustness analysis. The common assumption of constant total population also shuts off robustness analysis from the beginning. The constructed Riefner functions are not global without looking at their sub-level sets and uh, their assumptions. Recently, the globalness and the robustness have been addressed by employing and accomplishing the notion of input to state stability, or ISS for short. It also removes the assumption of constant total population. The robustness is made accessible by letting the Riefner function have a strictly negative derivative. Control via vaccination and isolation have been widely studied, but they are local or based on the classical Lyapunov functions. The purpose of this paper is to go beyond such controls by proposing feedback control for vaccination, making full use of the recently developed Lyapunov function. This is the SIR model. The variable S denotes the number of susceptible population. I is the number of infected population, while R is the population recovered with immunity. Beta you see here is the transmission rate of the disease. These three variables are packed into the single vector X. The vector evolves in the space of non-negative numbers. The variable B describes the inflow rate of immigration and newborn. These plots are typical time response of the disease model. These two dashed red lines are the number of infected population. The disease spreads in the early stage and it curves and results in the steady state value. On the left hand side, the disease is eradicated. On the right side, the disease remains as endemic. From these equations, it's clear that the total population decays exponentially plus the contribution of the immigration. I would like to stress that in the literature, it is often assumed that B is not only a constant, but also an artificial constant that guarantees the total population to be constant. But here, in this study, the immigration B is exogenous and an unknown function of time. The SIR model has two equilibria depending on the basic reproduction number R or hat. One equilibrium is the disease-free equilibrium. The other is the endemic equilibrium, which emerges only when the basic reproduction number R0 hat is larger than one. When R0 hat is less than one, we reach the disease-free equilibrium. But if R0 hat is greater than or equal to one, we reach the endemic equilibrium. Jacobian linearization directly shows that equilibria are asymptotically stable. They are local. It means that the stability is confirmed only in a sufficiently small neighborhood of the equilibrium. The analysis of the model is hard when the endemic equilibrium emerges. The weakness of all the classical Lyapunov functions stems from this point. 
Recently, I demonstrated that the coupled function cannot be real proof functions in a strict sense. To review it in the easiest way, let us consider the deviation from the target equilibrium and consider inflow perturbation from a basic point denoted by the accent hat. Now we look at the first two state variables using Jacobian linearization. When the disease-free equilibrium is the target, this linear system always accepts this quadratic function as an ISS VF function. By contrast, when the endemic equilibrium appears and becomes the target, the linear system has zero at this place. It is verified that the quadratic function cannot satisfy the Lyapunov inequality. As you see, this function W uses a diagonal matrix. It means the state variables are decoupled. Hence, even locally, no decoupled quadratic function can produce a negative derivative. This is why all classical analysis of the SIR model invokes Lassalle's invariance principle. It's very inconvenient since the invariance argument is useless when we want robustness. In 2021 ACC, I have shown this contour drawn on the entire state space with this particular function B. They are intersected transversely by the system trajectory. In fact, this function V is a strict VF function. As you see, this function G brings in a cross term between two variables S and I, which are the first and the second state variables. This function is a strict VF function on an arbitrary large domain whenever the endemic equilibrium is present. This presentation uses this function V to control the disease. In particular, by inoculation of susceptible individuals. Since a society usually wants non-zero immigration rate, the population of the infected individuals, I, cannot reach zero for a disease of large transmission rate. In other words, the disease-free equilibrium cannot be the target. Then the society wants to reduce peaks of the spread before reaching the endemic steady state. In realizing the peak reduction, the society cannot regulate inflow precisely. Therefore, confirming robustness with respect to the inflow perturbation is important. Assuming that the immunity is long lasting, vaccination of susceptible individuals can be incorporated into the SIR model like this. Here, rho is the vaccination rate and rho hat is the base point. U is the control input defined on this domain since the vaccination cannot be negative. This is the proposed control rho. The function z is given separately in the two cases. You can run that omega is the feedback gain. The feedback is off when omega is zero. These are plots of simulations without control and with control. By closing the loop with the proposed control row, the peak of the infected population, the red curve, is lowered. We also achieve ISS from the immigration perturbation. You cannot see it in these plots. So, it is proven on this slide. In the case of the disease-free equilibrium, the closed loop is ISS from the inflow perturbation in the sense that this inequality holds for the trajectory X of the SIR model. The first term describes global asymptotic stability, while the second term describes the deviation proportional to the inflow perturbation. In terms of this Lyapunov function V, it is seen that the convergence and robustness can be enhanced by using a larger control gain omega. As a quick sketch of proof, you can see that the control row in green puts a negative term in the derivative of the Lyapunov function 
along the system trajectories. You achieve the same property in the case of endemic equilibrium. As you remember, since the disease-free equilibrium becomes a subtle point, we cannot include the zero state in the domain of stability. Hence, we consider any compact set excluding zeros. This endemic case is harder, but the key is the use of this long decoupled Lyapunov function as I explained earlier. The sketch of proof is a little bit involved, but you still see that the control row in green puts a negative term in the derivative of the Lyapunov function. It is also possible to achieve the ISS property by inoculating immigrants instead of inhabitants. In that case, this P is the vaccination fraction and you consider a control input like this, and you have this inflow perturbation. This is the proposed control row. By comparing these two plots, you see that the vaccination of immigrants reduces the peak of the infected population. This peak reduction from the left is small since the number of immigrants is far smaller than that of inhabitants. You can modify this control row further maintaining this ISS property. For example, you can put this extra function in the control to focus on the reduction of infected population in the second half in this time interval. In this talk, I have proposed vaccination control rows for SIR model in the framework of ISS. I have employed the Lyapunov function reported in ACC 2021. The improvement is crucial since it is differentiable and its strictness is necessary for obtaining the robustness guarantee for which the invariance principle is useless. The use of Lyapunov function is referred to as CLF-based design. The proposed control rows are useful for reducing peaks of disease infection and keeping the number of hospitalizations within capacity of hospitals. Further development includes the use of another Lyapunov function reported more recently with Mazent and Marisov. Considering delays and employing other CLF-based control formula should be very interesting and important. Thank you for your attention.